In this video, we'll talk about protein tagging. Protein tags are peptide sequences which are genetically grafted onto a recombinant protein. Tags are attached to the protein and they are useful for many purposes. There are many type of tags such as GFP tag, HA or MIC tag, HIS tag, etc. But the big question is, what are the application of protein tagging? Now let us try to understand that. There are many applications such as protein purification, studying subcellular localization of the protein, protein-protein interaction and protein interactome analysis. So in this video we will study at least few of them. So let's study how tags could be useful to understand subcellular localization of the protein. Let's say we want to ask whether our protein X is localized inside the nucleus or Golgi or wherever in the cell. How to ask that question? In order to understand that, we have to tag this protein. And we can tag that using an expression vector. We can put an N-terminal or a C-terminal GFP tag, transfect those plasmid into the cell, and whenever the, there would be translation of these plasmid, a GFP tagged protein would be generated. Whenever these protein would be localized, we can understand the localization of the protein with the help of fluorescence. In this case, the protein localization is predominantly in the nucleus. Now point to be noted that immunohistochemistry method can also talk about the protein localization, but it cannot tell us the protein localization in real time. With the endogenous protein tag, we would be able to monitor the protein localization in real time inside a live system. The next application comes is like protein purification. In a biochemistry lab, on a day-to-day -day basis, you need to purify protein. And in order to purify protein, from a mixture of protein, you need your protein of interest to be tagged. One of the popular tag is histidine tag or his tag protein purification. I have a detailed video on that. But in short, using this particular technique, you generate a his-tagged protein which binds to a NINTM matrix and thereby the separation is easier. So in this method also, a hexa uh, histidine tag is incorporated at the genetic level in this expression vector and then it is transfected onto the cells, either mammalian cells or also in the bacteria. Then when we lyse these cells and try to purify these protein, obviously our protein would be having this hexahistidine tag, which can separate them or discriminate them from other protein mixtures and thereby we can isolate our protein of interest with column chromatography. In general, there are several steps in the column chromatography, not going into details, but our protein of interest could easily be purified from a pool of protein using this methodology. So this is one kind of affinity purification as well. Now as a third application, we can study protein-protein interaction using protein tagging methods. In this particular method, we would be tagging protein with fluorophores or fluorescent proteins. For example, uh, cyan fluorescent protein or yellow fluorescent protein. Now we can perform the Froster resonance energy transfer technique to understand whether these two proteins are interacting with each other or not. If they are interacting, there would be fret. If they are not interacting, there would be no fret. So presence of fret would tell us about the protein-protein interaction. Again, in order to perform that, we need to get our protein of interest in a particular expression vector where CFP and YFP is already there. So we have to clone it with the YFP and CFP tag and then express it in a mammalian cell or in other systems. Then only we can perform the FRET experiments for our own purposes. So at least we looked at three examples or three uh, cases where protein tagging is really useful in biomedical research. If you want more notes or flashcards, you can visit my Facebook page or Instagram channel. All the links are in the description. You can support our channel by clicking on the super thanks option. Your small contribution means a lot for me. See you in next video.